Jerusalem. So, if you look around us, you see at least two artworks. And this is because we have artisans that wake up every morning with very inspired, and they go on and they do wonderful things that make our homes very aesthetically pleasing. So, together with two Ashesi students, we joined the uh, Ashesi D Lab Summer Project. So, we were able to identify a problem and provide a solution that best fits. We went through a whole lot of processes, challenges, success stories, and we also learned a lot. So as I earlier said, these artisans wake up early in the morning, inspired, they come, they make their artwork very beautiful, and they display it at the art center. But the only people they can reach are those passing by. There are only those passing by who will see what they love and take them to their homes to make it beautiful. But these people are looking far more than those, just those people walking by the streets. So exploring this problem space, and which we got insights from Dr. Zeneto's team, which worked very closely with um, the artisans, we're able to come up with our point of view. And so with this point of view, we're able to come up with a solution that would best fit the artisans, which was providing an Instagram training outline in order to train these artisans to put their work out there. So in order to achieve that, we took a course, an Instagram training course, and we also created an outline specific for the artisans. So what we did was, the Ashesi D Lab provided us was an awesome resource. So they connected us with Instagram influencers like Desmond Apia, which they took us through the, through the summer, we went through diff, these different topics as you see here, from account creation to account optimization and monetization. They helped us how to help a business, they taught us how to help a business move from just, a, move from just like having five clients to more, increasing their client, um, their client uh, space. So um, we learned a lot personally, and um, through this learning process, we had a lot of challenges. The first thing was the inability to have a one-on-one -on -one with these artisans. So our team is made up of, as I said, three students, very diverse. I am Cameroonian. My teammate Simathe is from Benin and Adwa Serwa is a Ghanaian. So during the summer, we had to unfortunately go back to our respective countries. So we were only stuck on the level of taking this training and actually creating the outline. So um, another challenge we faced was we are just for, we are just for including our project uh, coordinator. So due to our few numbers and the large ratio of artisans we can find at the art center, it was not, we, it was not feasible, we would have not created the level of impact we, uh, we actually plan of. That is having a one-on-one -on -one training or let's say a two-on-one -on training with these artisans so that we make sure we on, they understand what we are trying to pass on to them. So due to these few numbers, we were not able, we were not, it was a main challenge for us. But although we have, we had all these challenges, we were successful to some points because we were able to complete the Instagram training and we we're able to create an outline that will help these artisans. So, um, throughout this process, of course, we learned a lot. I personally and my team, we learned so much about social media and how it could help us personally. We didn't just, we were not just stereotyped on what we're being taught for businesses, but we are also applying that on our personal accounts and it's working. So, um, they, we actually found out that from the several sessions we have we, we had with our instructors, we found out that Instagram could be a very powerful tool to help a business scale up. And um, our next steps with this going further with this project will be mobilizing a larger team. So I am calling out for anybody who wants to join us to actually train the artisans. So we should go out there and give them the knowledge that is going to make them scale up, that is going to make, make them scale up their businesses. So um, we are calling for a larger team to actually train the people and we also wish to make an outline for not just artisans because there are so many businesses out there that they just need to show themselves to social media and they are going to make that money they actually wish to with their businesses. And um, another step we, we, we are going to take is on the 10th of September we're meeting with Dr. Zeneto's team where we're going to go to meet these um, artisans. 
So the, aim, the main aim of meeting them is so that we have a one-on-one -on -one with them. We've created an outline based on what we were thought and based on what they've told us on the artisans. But having a one-on-one on, -one on them is going to permit us make this outline very specific to them. They might not be English speakers. They might not. So we're going to find a way. We're going to just learn and interact with them. So as we know how to tailor this outline to be favorable for them. So um, that is it. And um, thank you very much. What specific? Like, is it like um, a module for um, Instagram ads and um, people on Instagram to actually get their ads across? Like, maybe does it talk about how to get reach, how to get people to follow you and stuff like that? Yes. So, as I said, we're being, in order to have like an account being, um, to have a good account, you need to first, it starts from account creation and how you create the account, how you manage the account, what you should do and what you shouldn't do. How you analyze your the Instagram analytics? You need to. It, it, it takes all that on uh, analyzing all that data for you to be able to make your business successful. I wanted to find out if you did research on them as well, whether they use smartphones, whether they are willing to do something like this. Because I know that this works for people who already have business on Instagram that are willing to go through this um, process of growing their accounts, etc. But I'm not too sure about them because the little I know, they don't use smartphones, the, from what I've seen, most of them don't use smartphones and um, I don't know how willing they will be to move from uh, people coming to them to rather showing people what they have. I said earlier on that we are working with Dr. Zeneca's team. So she, her team is actually trying to push um, the people at the Artisan uh, Art Center because she, she is in charge of um, the Art Center. So she's trying to promote them to go more on the digital age, to trans, to trans, to transgress, uh, to progress to the digital age. Sorry. So um, that would be a challenge we're going to face as we go there on the tenth. We are going to interact more with them and see the tendencies and see how we are going to go about with that. Thank you very much. <laughs>